gets it going. Two more days yet, though. Yeah. She's about plus 11. What do you reckon? What do you think we should be a goal to try to? We know she's capable. Yeah. yeah we know she's got the game. Yeah. You don't need to go under, though, to win. That's the thing. No, no. Just try and get it back to something like five. Mm. Oh, she's coming up short, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah green still. Mm. Oh, is it all going well? Yeah, it's going well, yeah. I bet, I bet you like it when there's a bit of activity. <laughs> oh, yeah. When there's a delay in groups, it can be quite tough. <laughs> <laughs> Good beautiful setting, haven't it? Stunning. This venue, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. just breathtaking. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, right, everybody, I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, but welcome back to the action. We're here at 18. Uh, we've come down here, we've just had a group behind actually hit. Uh, so I have to stop them quickly. Uh, we are with the group of, uh, we've got Chanel Fontaine-Geary here, Nicholas Slater, uh, Lily Horn. It looks like Nicholas Slater is going to go for the green here at 18. This is why we've come down here, actually, two options. Lily Horn laid up, uh, as you can see, but we think Nicholas Slater is going to go for this. So here we go. What would you do in this situation? You've got to navigate that water. That is the 18th green over on the other side. It's Nicholas Slater is going to go for this. Hit it. Oh, it bounced. Oh, I thought it was going to get a lucky bounce up. It's fallen just short, and unfortunately, it stays in the drink. So, uh, we've got Chanel Fontaine Geary here. Uh, not quite going her way today, but. Uh, Still time, remember it's a three day event in total. This is day one of the Faldo Series Grand Final. This is the 25th Faldo Series Grand Final. We're caught up here at 18. This was the uh, third group out of the day. We caught and teeing off at one earlier and we catch them here finishing up at 18. So here is uh, Chanel Fontaine here. She's gonna go for this. Go, go, shout of go. Oh, and it's in the water. It's two in the drink, I'm afraid. Uh, Nicholas Slater and Chantay Fontaine have hit the water here. Uh, big drama. It's the reason we've actually come down to 18. It's a wonderful finishing hole here. It is the 25th Faldo uh, Series Grand Final. This is the group we're with now. We're all the way, of course, uh, for the final few groups as they do come home. A group behind uh, played their shots, actually. They ran down really close to us. Uh, but big drama here at 18. This is what we're expecting. And uh, we had beautiful sunshine. I spent literally the last 10 minutes before we went uh, going live saying it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. We're not going to have any more rain today. We had a sudden downpour. 
I think we might have some rain soon and I in purpose didn't bring my waterproofs because I was adamant it's not going to rain so uh, how silly am I about to look but these ladies will no doubt want to get finished as soon as possible to avoid that downpour uh, but here we go so uh, so far it looks like uh, this is Lily Horn. Lily Horn took the uh, sensible option and laid up uh, and is she going to benefit from that because Chanel Fontangiri went for it, Nicola Slater went for it and they both ended up in the water. Line looks good. Great shot. Great shot by Lily Horn. She benefits from taking the safe option. What would you have done? Remember, it's only day one of day three. Do you need to take risk yet? I don't know. I, I, I'd probably go for it, to be fair, as well. Uh, so, yeah, we are gonna, they are going to go from the drop zone down there. So, Nicholas Slater and uh, Chanel Fontaine-Giri are going to have to still play, still navigate this water. Plenty of drama here. Thank you for tuning in so far. It's the Fado series. If you are confused, uh, we are we're broadcasting you two grand finals uh, over the course of the next three days. The 24th uh, Faldo Series grand final, essentially that is from 2020, and uh, the 2021 Faldo Series grand final, which is the uh, 25th anniversary. And these three ladies are in the latter in the 25th Faldo Series grand final. Nicholas Slater over on her right, right won the Faldo Series Midlands Championship at Kettleson Park earlier on in the year. Lily Horn actually had a tasted success here at Brockett Hall and uh, Chanel Fontangiri in the middle there. She won at Rudlin on the Wales Championship. There you go. That's Nicholas Slater there. Front of the green. Here's Chanel Fontaine-Giri. Not quite uh, going her way today, but she can come back tomorrow. There's no cut here either. So all these ladies will be here on Wednesday for the final round. Nice and high this time. Bounce back. It's off the green and uh, it's just not quite going her way today, is it? Uh, and as we've said before, actually, in order to get over, you do have to take the ferry. Uh, there it is over on the left. We uh, went on it last year and it broke down, didn't it, Leon? Uh, <laughs> not whilst we were on it, I hasten to add, actually. Not because of that. No, not because we had too many, um, too many panda shandies in the uh, clubhouse. So uh, you can watch them actually have a bit of a, a ride over the ferry here because the group behind, oh no, he's going to lay up. The group behind one of the, one of the players is going to lay up. Uh, he's just played his shot. It's just rolling down the fairway, just off to your right, actually. I don't think you can see the ball over there. Uh, the group behind, I think taking there, well, certainly from there, is a long way back. That is definitely the smart move there. Uh, we've got the uh, two ball here, Albert Feely and Oliver drew it. We caught up with them a little bit earlier. In fact, we saw them tee off at the second, didn't we, over water, the par three. Water is a big theme here at Brockett Hall. You also have to hit over it at the 16th as well. Right, now, whilst we wait uh, for a little bit of the action to uh, happen and the, uh, the ladies make their way over the ferries and the, the gentlemen just make their way down the 18th ferry, let's pop the uh, live leaderboard up onto the screen for the 25th Faldo Series Grand Final. You can see how things are going on at the minute. Morgan Bly, a name we know very well, he is having yet again another strong tournament. Every time I see Morgan, every time I see him play, he's always at the sharp end. And uh, early days, of course, uh, we've got three days in total, but he's going very well indeed. Once again here at Brockett Hall, who's it going to be? Remember, do comment below. We can see the comments. Like, comment and share. So that's how things are looking at the sharp end of the leaderboard here for the 25th Grand Final, the 25th anniversary of Aldo Series. 25 years. And it was Nick Doherty who won the first ever one in 1997. Let's pop that uh, leaderboard down. Right. 
Let's ask a uh, spectator. What do you do? Do you go for it? Do you lay up? What would you do? I'd go for it today. Yeah? Yeah. He's, um, he's not had his best round, bless him. But, yeah. Uh, so he's digging in, so he'll be going for it. It's got to be tempting, isn't it, if it's not quite going your way. You think, I've oh, got to go, end on a high. Yeah. If you can, we have just seen oh. two of the girls um, drop it in the water, oh, yeah. but yeah. She was two shots ahead as well, wasn't she? Yes, yeah, yeah. Not what you want, but uh, there's still a long way to go, though. Oh, gotcha. They don't give out trophies on a Monday. Absolutely. Well said, well said. <laughs> that's what I've been telling him all the way around, anyway. Well, that's it. you just got to stay in, haven't you? Just, just stay in. Just stay in contention. You know, if you could put a low score in, great, but don't let it get to your head, because you've got to do it all again tomorrow. Oh, we're all invincible at 15, aren't we? That's the thing. <laughs> I think it's going to be a shot coming down the uh, fairway, actually, and you might want to just move off to the left. We've told the next group to play, play on, so they're going to hit their shots. So it should be uh, Rio Sago, Max Halflands and Luke Metcalf. Uh, we haven't seen the balls, but whilst they do come down, uh, we actually caught up with Rio Sago this morning uh, as he just finished up at the first. Uh, and we had a good little chat about his game, how it's going. Of course, we caught up with him at Goodwood as well, and he won an incredible playoff. And here's what Rio had to say this morning as he came off the first green. Rio. It's good to see you again. Of course, last time I saw you at uh, Goodwood, it was that playoff, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah, quite it was. incredible. Uh, how have things developed for you since then? Uh, yeah, I've just been working on my game, practicing, um, finished with a couple of tournaments, good results. Uh, yeah, just been looking forward to this event. This is my last event uh, of the season, so yeah. yeah, just hoping to close out well. I'm sure you will. Is it just a case of that round one? It's three rounds, of course, in total. Round one, yeah. just, just get around. You know, get, get a feel for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally looking for just a solid score to keep me going for the last two days. So, see, I've started with a bogey, but see if we can pull it back. Long way to go yet. So, best of luck, Ray. Thanks for talking to us as well. It's good to see you again, mate. Yeah, that was uh, Rio Sagal. He's actually in a group behind the two lads we've got behind us uh, for the ladies here. But you can see the ladies here on the 18th green now at the minute. So Chanel Fontaine, uh, Geary, Lily Horn and Nicholas Slater all in the girls under 21 group, all from England as well. And uh, all had big results this year on the Faldo series. We had the pleasure last night of uh, dinner with uh, Nick Doherty. And uh, we Zoom called in Sir Nick Faldo from the States. Uh, there is Chanel. And he uh, gave us some wonderful insight. It really, really was. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Nick Doherty afterwards as well uh, for a one-to-one -one interview with him. And uh, I have to say a huge thank you to Nick. He's a true gentleman, true advocate for the development of the game of golf as well. Boys are just going to hold on behind us because they're going to go for the green. So we're just going to wait, hold on for the ladies. So uh, let's watch them hold out. That's Lily Horn there. She played it safe. She did lay up, got over. Sensible thing to do. Par five to finish here.
there you go, Nicola Slater finishing up her round, Lily Horn and uh, Chanel Fontaine Deary. Uh, the ladies are going to clear the green, uh, hugs all round. Of course, they'll go again tomorrow. And now we turn our attention just behind us, Leon, for this uh, two ball of uh, Albert Fila Oliver Drew. It, uh, we saw them this morning too, caught up with uh, the chaps as well. So he's going to go for this one over the water. I think I'll probably be, uh, maybe just chipping it down there just a little bit further. My bravery is not all that. Oh, and we've got one in the water. Another one, it's a third, had gone for it, been brave, but it's not quite worked out, unfortunately. And that was quite a bit short, actually, wasn't it? That was certainly a club length, maybe too short of what it needed to be. It was probably just a miss hit, I think, unfortunately. And we've seen our third splash here in only four players so far, haven't we? It just goes to show how hard it is and what a finishing hole. This is the 18th. This is how you have to finish. How daunting is it? You've got the Brocket Hall, the main hall, gaping down on you over the top of the hill there. You've got this river running right through the middle of you. Uh, I'm not so sure if there's many more daunting final holes in golf. Uh, do send a picture in below, uh, certainly if you're watching on Facebook. Put a picture of uh, what's probably the hardest 18th uh, approach shot you've ever had to face we would love to hear from you we'd love to see that get those in below we'll uh, have a look and what we'll do tomorrow as well is we'll play them out live as well we'll put a selection of the photos we can play uh, the pictures and put them up on the screen and show everybody but i certainly think brockett hall uh, is quite a daunting one isn't it very daunting prospect And that made it over, but it was in that hump over there on the right, the uh, grassy knoll on the right, it just rolled back into that. But it's over the water, I think it's probably the main thing, a sigh of relief perhaps, a little bit. Get it over, get it safe, and then just uh, concentrate on getting it home, get into the clubhouse, focus on what went well, have a look at what you need to improve on for tomorrow, and go again. It's three days in total, we will have our champions on Wednesday evening. We'll have the under 16 boys, the under 18 boys, the under 21 boys uh, across both the 24th and 25th Faldo Series Grand Finals. And for the ladies, we'll have the under 16 and under 21 champions again for both the 24th and 25th. Yes, we have two Grand Finals essentially happening here at once over the course of the, well, I suppose the next two and a half days actually now, haven't we? Because uh, this is uh, after this group. Let me have a little look after this group. Uh, we only have another nine groups and then uh, they'll be finished for the day. Day one will be complete. We'll be back live tomorrow as well, so you can tune in for even more live action on the Faldo series. It's a real, real golfing feast and treat live for you here at Brockett Hall in Hertfordshire, just outside Welling Garden City. Good shot. Right at the pin. 10, 12 feet or so. I'm going to chat to some of the guys actually whilst they're waiting around, just see what they're sort of thinking, what they're going to do. I'm not going to ask them too much because I don't want to um, get into the head or anything. Oh, there we go. I think he's going to play over. Whilst we're on the bridge, they're actually going to go for it and play over onto the green. Uh, makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, the bridge the ferry does take quite a while for sake of pace of play. Common sense, I'm pleased to say, 
has prevailed and he is going to go for this one, I can tell you that. I think we might have a player just behind though. So this is uh, group five, Rio Sago, Max Halflands and Luke Metcalf. I felt a spit of rain just land on me there as well. I might just go get you to Brolies, Leon. And the rain is coming. Uh, I was adamant it wasn't going to. I didn't bother putting a waterproof on because I was 100% convinced it wasn't going to rain. And it's raining. Doing all right. <laughs> Didn't bother putting a waterproof on. I was like, it's not going to rain again. Yeah, no chance. Shower, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of a wait. So I'm just going to have a quick word with the young man here. So we went for it. Yeah, it was, it was all right. It's just a bit long. It's better long than short, though. <laughs> uh, you just want to get over, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> then once you're over, it's kind of it's quite a daunting 18th hole, isn't it? it is. um, yeah, but it's a nice wide fairway. So it's like if you're on your 54th hole and you've got maybe a two-shot lead, it's not it's not the most nerve-wracking because it's it's wide enough to hit a good drive. Well, yeah, I mean certainly for you guys anyway. Uh, how's it been going today? <laughs> it, it it started really good. I was three under after five, and then made a double down six because that green is just. It's crazy. I was yeah. about three foot away and ended up 25 foot the other side. So it's a bit like the first. The first green was quite tricky, actually, yeah, wasn't it? The pin was cut yeah. almost at the top of the hill. If you put it right, you just saw them rolling off. Yeah, it's it's, it, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, I got back down to one under after that and then just tripled 16 stupidly. That's over the water again, isn't yeah. it? 16. Yeah. I didn't go in the water. I was just rubbish drive and then second was pretty average and then rubbish third. Well, we've got three days in total. You're yeah, almost exactly. into your first round. Still two rounds to go. Thanks for talking. Just best of luck, guys. Thank you. Take care. Uh, lovely stuff there. It's, uh, it's the ups and downs of golf, isn't it? Uh, but he's still in the mix, though. Great stuff indeed. Uh, the other group are now onto the green. Look, they've uh, managed to get over the ferry. I don't know if they sent it back. I don't think they sent it back. <laughs> That's not overly helpful, is it? So onto the green, Albert Fiedler and Oliver drew it. Uh, here in front of us, we've got Rio Sago, Max Halflands, and Luke Metcalf. The clouds at Gather, once again, it's been such a mix of weather. And uh, Rio plays his shot. I guess uh, they've been waved to play, and they have. Yeah, so Rio plays a shot right to the center of the green, the 18th. You'd be happy with that. And that one's just going to trickle off this front edge of the green, just into the trim there. Still a bit of work to do for these chaps. Ferry's on its way back. And Oliver drew it, and Albert Fieler make their way on to the 18th green, as you can see there. Well, it's been a wonderful day of golf. It's not finished yet, of course. We're going to stay live for a fair bit longer, watch a few more groups come through, catch some of the groups uh, we didn't see this morning, we did see these uh, chaps earlier on. So we're just gonna stay live just for a little bit longer, catch a few more groups I haven't seen. I'd like to catch up with Morgan Blythe as well. He's uh, only a couple of groups back. 
And of course, don't forget, more live golf to be bringing you tomorrow. You can watch it all live and exclusive wherever you're watching it right now. You can also watch it in high definition on our YouTube channel at Live Sport Now. There's a link in the body of this broadcast. Uh, it says uh, watch on YouTube here. Give it a click. It will take you through to Live Sport Now on YouTube. Hit subscribe. You can watch all of our live golf and live motorsport in 2021 and 2022. That's a great shot out of there, isn't it? Oh, a wonderful shot. The rain starts to tumble down a little bit heavier. Now, fortunately, I've managed to find a rather large tree to stand underneath. It wouldn't be a, a day at the golf with us if it didn't at the rain at least once. This is the second time we've had uh, rain. In fact, in the last broadcast we did out on the course, we had torrential rain. It was almost a short monsoon, but it bucketed it down very heavy, sort of 30 minutes or so. Drop, drop. Oh. So the rain comes down here at Brockett Hall. And day one is uh, starting to see the endings of day one. The 24th Faraday Series Grand Final day one has now finished. We're now into the 25th Grand Final. As we said, if you are just tuning in, uh, don't forget we are covering essentially two Grand Finals over the course of the next uh, two and a half days. The 2020 Faraday Series Grand Final, that's the 24th uh, edition. And we're now with the 25th anniversary Faldo Series Grand Final, essentially the 2021 Grand Final. Of course it was cancelled last year due to Covid and normally the Grand Final takes place uh, at Alain at the Shooting Club over in Dubai but uh, unfortunately couldn't be this year so uh, I say unfortunately we're here at Brockett Hall instead and it's when it's not chucking it down it's absolutely glorious. And the group behind us are uh, coming down as well. If you just turn around Leon you'll be able to see the uh, group behind us as well getting themselves ready. If you just turn around Leon you'll be able to see the group behind. It's going to be Monty Holcomb, Jensen Ball and Ben Bolton all in the under 16 boys category from this year. So the chap so there we go, uh, just having a bit of a layup here, which is uh, probably a good thing to do from there. He was on the mound behind, that's exactly what I would do. Lay up, that's what I would do. <laughs> Lay up is what I would do. <laughs> He's there. He's there. <laughs> We've seen three go in the water.
for another that's four yeah that one's gone in the water unfortunately I'm trying to work out if he actually meant to do that or yeah You've got to admire the bravery though, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You've got to admire the bravery, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I think it comes with experience, doesn't it? You know. Pick 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 the battles you know you know you can win. Pick the battles you, you know you're gonna win, huh? I'm going to go uh, talk to the guys actually and uh, just find out how it's been going today uh, out there. How you doing buddy? Yeah, good, good to see you mate. How's it been today? It was going very well. Yeah. Um, unfortunately a little bit of a faux pas on 16 just due to a bad decision. Um, I made... think people have said 16 has been quite tough today. Yeah it was, it was a bad drive and then a, a faulty decision of, of me trying to go for the green with, without really a very good line. But um, otherwise it's been a good day. I struggled on the greens a little bit just yeah. with pace and the alignment, but um, otherwise, really enjoyed it. And this is yours? Is this yeah, yours? this is mine. Yeah, you, you took the safer route. I was forced to lay up yeah. due to another bad lie, but, um, <laughs> but no, it's hopefully make a birdie and then finish with a finish with a high, which would be nice. Top man, best of luck. Yeah, thank you for talking to us. Let's go uh, grab a word over here. How you doing, buddy? You right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, other than that, but, uh, yeah. how, how else has it been today? Uh, I haven't played too well, but the course has been really nice. Yes, yeah. so, uh, I've, I've struck the ball very well. So the puttings let me down a bit. You went for it there, t took a risk, but because it's played over three days and it's the first stage, you feel like, okay, maybe I could get away with a risk. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you've got plenty of time to make up shots. Exactly. So, yeah. I like may as well go for it, yeah. Okay. Best of luck. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, there we go. Uh, and there is time as well. I forget, still two days, two rounds to play uh, after here. We'll be back at Brockett Hall tomorrow live as well for both the 24 and 25th Faldo Series Grand Finals. Uh, the uh, family members are off on the ferry, uh, even the players here, because I can't go anywhere just yet. So I'm just wondering, are they going to be signalled to play? And I think they are. So, so far we've seen, what, uh, four balls in the water in the short time we've been down here. This is Group 6, uh, Monty Holcomb, Jensen Bull and Ben Bolton. Now we caught up with uh, Matthew Faldo a little bit earlier this morning as well. Had a good chat with him. And we we're at the first tee. We caught actually both t opening tee shots for the 24th and 25th Faldo Series Grand Final. Now all the videos that we've been uh, broadcasting live today will stay. Wherever you're watching this broadcast, it will stay on that platform. So you can go back and watch uh, any of the action you like. And if you did miss any of our earlier broadcasts, this is our fourth broadcast out on the course today. We did a bit of hole in one hunting. Uh, with the 24th Faldo Series Grand Final. Tomorrow we'll do hole and hunting with the 25th Faldo Series Grand Final players. Uh, always well worth a watch. Go back, see if we got our first ever live hole in one. Make sure you do keep checking back as well over the course of the next two days as the action heats up. The leaderboard starts to really take shape and we start to get an indication of who are going to be our Faldo Series Grand Final winners.
Richard Barnett uh, commented, saying, afternoon, great British weather again, I see. Uh, yeah, you know it, Richard. You know it. He's been absolutely glorious today, uh, except for two downpours. And uh, the sun's actually come back out again just behind us, which is nice. So as you can see, uh, on the green now, at 18, finishing up their first rounds, uh, Rio Sago, Max Halflands and Luke Metcalf, Group 5, heading over to pick up the ferry just off to our left. We have Monty Holcomb, Jensen Bull and Ben Bolton. And behind us now, we have Nathan Woodham, Maximilian Barkley and Henry Daly as well. Behind them, we then have uh, Morgan Blythe, Samuel Johnson and Lucas Martin. We are going to stay live and catch up with Morgan Blythe very shortly. Once again, going well here on the Fowler Series. He goes well in every tournament he plays. Perhaps Morgan Blythe is a future superstar, could be one of the gentlemen we're looking at right now. Uh, the Fowlo Series is the place to play though if you want to uh, progress your game to the next level. The likes of Nick Doherty, the 1997 Fowlo Series champion. We had dinner with him last night. Lovely, lovely bloke and some wonderful stories too. He came through the Fowlo Series ranks as did Rory McIlroy, Danny Willett, Carly Booth, Tom Lewis, John Parry. The uh, list is seemingly endless of players who have played on the Faldo series and then gone on to big, big things on the tour stage. So a couple of chaps just laying up behind us as well. As we've seen, four balls into the water so far, just during this broadcast alone. Uh, that is the sensible option. And another one. There we go, the uh, chaps uh, finish up now, haven't they? Let's just pop the uh, leaderboard up onto the screen for you just for a second so you can see how things are currently panning out on the 25th uh, Faldo Series Grand Final leaderboard. Remember, we are broadcasting both the 24th and 25th, essentially the 2020 and 2021 Faldo Series Grand Finals, and that is how things currently look at the sharp end uh, in total across all players. Uh, don't forget, they are actually broken down into age categories as well. So for the boys, we have the under 16s, the under 18s and the under 21s. And for the girls, we have the under 16s and under 21s. There's technically uh, five separate champions per grand final. Uh, we will have overall winners as well. Uh, just generally, whoever shoots the lowest score. A stroke play over the course of today and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to be live throughout for all of it for you. You are going to see so much live golf from the comfort of your home. Do comment, tell us, where are you watching from? We always want to know, are you uh, here in the UK or are you overseas? Uh, normally the grand final's played over in Dubai. Can't be for uh, travel reasons really with regards to COVID, but what a pleasure it is and a big thank you to Brockett Hall for having us here at the Faldo series. Uh, once again, we were here early in the year for the England South Championship. Uh, we were live for that too. This is our second visit to Brockett Hall in 2021. So uh, coming down now, as you can see, the players 
the next group through with Nathan Woodham, Maximilian Barkley and Henry Daly. Are they going to be invited to play through? I think they might be. As we said, it just really does speed up the play here. You have to get that ferry over. You can actually walk around, but uh, it's a long walk. We had to do it last year. I think they're going to be waved to uh, play onto the green over the water. They are, yeah, here we go. There's uh, one, it's going. Oh, and it, oh it's, it's going to hold, it won't go into the water, but it's going to be close to the edge. it hold it does safely on the green just rolling a little bit to the right you can see that the green does slope a bit uh, left to right this is group seven nathan woodham maximilian barkley and henry daly just about to finish up here at 18. But that was very close, or so we had one go in the drink, which I didn't see myself. Uh, that is the drop zone for the water down there. And I've got the young man here with the hoodie. I have to say, I think the attire actually looks all right, you know, hoodies. My personal opinion, what do you think watching at home? Are you pro hoodies or not? And look at that, what a shot. If it holds, stop. I actually think there's nothing wrong with the hoodies, and unfortunately, the two people have just left the guys there. <laughs> oh no. They've just missed the ferry. <laughs> you can jump that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't jump it. Uh, afraid you've got a bit of a weight, guys. <laughs> How's it been out there today, guys? Talk about 16 to me. What's it been like up there? A few people have said they've been caught out of it, haven't they? 16's tough. Playing a lot longer, I thought. Yeah. Uh, just the approach shot, especially. Yeah. Any big opportunities out there? Uh, there's a couple, if you keep it in the fairway, which, to be fair, I kind of struggle to do, but... <laughs> There are definitely chances if you can find it. Yeah, definitely. 18, it's, it's quite a unique way to finish, isn't it? To, yeah. For, for you guys, though, because you guys are good, you know, so, you know, probably just easy peasy, isn't it? But for, for us mere mortals, and it's quite daunting, is it for you guys? Uh, it's a little bit. It's quite a lot of water, so. And it's quite easy to do in it, so it's yeah. slightly scary. Turns out it's a bit of a weight for the ferry as well. Isn't yeah. it? So, cheers, uh, Hayden, mate. How's it been going today? Right. Uh, yeah, just. Um, a bad stretch, bad finish, but um, start off well. Need to uh, try and finish with a par here, but you know. There's still a long way to go, though, isn't there? It's still two days. So you just put it behind and move on, right? Exactly. Yeah. There's still you can't win on the first day, but you can definitely lose it, and yeah. I'm trying not to lose it. <laughs> well, that's it. Just stay in. Stay yeah. in. Cheers, guys. So uh, best of luck here. Uh, let's keep going on because the next group behind they're probably going to lay up as well, so uh, we might not be able to catch those shots uh, in the group behind. Actually, we should have Morgan Blythe, I think, too. So it'd be good to uh, see if we can grab a word with him as we said we've been broadcasting with Faldo series now for this is our second season last year we did the Wales Championship at the Vale 
in the England South 2 Championship at Royal Ashdown. Uh, but we've really got to know the players since then. This year, we've been all over with the Faldo series, haven't we? Yeah, we started the year here actually at Rocket Hall. Uh, and we went to Scotland, didn't we? We went to Ladybank. We've been to Goodwood, Kettleston Park. Uh, of course, here at Rocket Hall. We went to uh, Dunstanborough Castle, where we're broadcasting to today, actually. Hello to uh, Stuart, if you're watching. A uh, bit of a, well, I wouldn't say a hidden gem, it's, uh, but it is an absolute gem, I can tell you that. If you are up in the northeast, make sure you get yourself down to Dunstanborough Castle Golf Club. My word, you'll be in for a treat, I can assure you that. Uh, we've also uh, went to Rudlin in Wales for the Wales Championship 2, and here we are back at Rocket Hall to end the 2021 season, and we're actually ending the 2020 season as well. That is the 24th Faldo Series Grand Final. We are now with the 25th Faldo uh, Grand Final, the 2021 edition. So yes, we've got two Grand Finals to bring you. How lucky are we? I'm just seeing that there's no action on the green. I think we're just waiting to see if they can signal to be played. It would make sense because the guys are still waiting for the ferry to come back. So we're going to have a bit of a delay here, I think. Uh, but it looks like he's going to go for it. I think, I think he's got a wood in his hand. So I think he's going to go for this. He's gone for it. Is he going to make it? Oh, what a shot. Oh, my word. Oof. There you go. That's the reward for going for it. <laughs> you know, we've seen what happens if uh, you go for it and don't make it. That's what happens if you go for it and you make it. Uh, brilliant, brilliant shot, that. We've seen two cracking shots. The shot from Luke Jenkins stands out. His uh, approach shot into the first green this morning, that stands out. Uh, but that is also shout for shot of the day, I think. Elaine, if you're watching, make a note of that and uh, get a clip of that shot. My word, what a cracker. And we've got another one going for it too. Are we about to be doubly treated here? And is that the right? That's not the right front. Did it make it? I didn't. I didn't see a splash. I saw a bird rock fly across, but I didn't see a splash. Is there a crowd of people walking across the first. I wonder if they're doing a walk of the course or. Another one going for it. Is that going to have the legs? Is it going to have the legs? Oh, it's agonisingly short. That's number five in the drink during this broadcast. Uh, I take no happiness in saying that at all. I might hasten to add five in the water. We want to see more shots making it, don't we? We want these players to be rewarded for their risk that they're taking, but it doesn't always work out that way, unfortunately, because it is golf. These things do happen. Uh, I just want to chat to this young man up here because let's go. Uh... Hello, Morgan. How are you doing? You good? Not bad. How are you? I'm oh, not too bad, thank you. I'm not too bad. Uh, how's it been going today? Um, quite a mixed bag, really. I've yeah. Scored, scored quite well. I've chipped, chipped quite well, but I've still left a couple out there. I've just got fours, isn't it? So there's more to come. Is that the, what you're saying? The, yes, there is. Yeah, I've hit some pretty horrendous shots, as you can see there. That's I've got 70 yards in, and I'm pin high. So. Yeah. But then I've hit some good shots as well, so it's, it evens itself out. I played pretty solid today, I'm quite happy with it. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, well, it's good to see you. I'll let you crack on anyway. Right, uh, it's still two days to go, Morgan. Uh, best of luck, buddy. Keep going. Uh, I want to catch up with a chap in the white, but we'll just leave him for now because I think they're going to wait for the ferry because uh, we want to catch the uh, the shot that unfortunately sadly dropped itself into the uh, to the drink. Morgan did make it over. It sounds like I didn't actually see where it landed, but it looks like he did make it over the water, which is good. Uh, 
So this is uh, group eight, Lucas Martin, Samuel Johnson and Morgan Blythe. Looking to get themselves home nice and safely now. We go. We're just going to stay uh, around for the next group as well. It's just a two ball of Thomas Craig and Ben Clark. So uh, we're just going to watch their shots over the water. Now, if you like what we've seen so far, I want to find out more about the Faldo series. There is a link in the body of this broadcast. It'll take you to the Faldo series website. Do give it a click. It's well worth. Uh, finding out more it really really is uh, certainly if you if you are a junior golfer or uh, the parent of a uh, golfer and you fancy mixing it up with uh, these players out here then find out more information you can also access the live leaderboard that way as well for both the 24th and 25th Fado series grand finals and uh, you can break it down to age category as well for the girls there's the under 16s the under 21s for the boys the under 18s the under 16s and the under 21s as well so five age categories in total uh, per uh, grand final so technically i suppose we'll have uh, 10 winners really won't we two outright outright winners though one for the 24th and one for the 25th. 25 years ago, Sir Nick Faldo created the Faldo series. That year, Nick Doherty was champion. Who's it going to be for 2020 and 2021? There they are on the green. There are the two chaps behind us coming in. I wonder from there, I imagine they'll probably go for it actually from just behind us. So we are just going to stick around for the chaps to play the next shots onto the green, just see if they can make it, which I'm sure they can. And then uh, we're going to head off for a short break. So you're currently looking on the 18th green of the group of Nathan Woodham, Maximilian Barkley and Henry Daly. I think uh, Max was at Goodwood, wasn't he? If I believe correctly. 
could be wrong, but uh, it wouldn't be the first time. And it's handshakes all around, so uh, they're going to clear the green, Leon. You might want to move actually just towards me because the chaps are literally just behind and you might be on their uh, eye line a little bit. So the two gentlemen behind, Thomas Craig and Ben Clark here, uh, both in the under 21 boys category. Thomas Craig from Scotland, Ben Clark from England, teed off 11.35 this morning, Group 9 of the 25th Faldo Series Grand Final. I've just been informed, uh, Max Barkley, it was Ladybank. Thank you, Elaine. Yes, it was. Uh, apologies, not Goodwood. It was uh, up at Ladybank that Max Barkley took a win. That was for the uh, Scotland Championship. We were live for that. Thank you to Lady Bank for having us up there too. And he's gone for it. And it's made it, it's over on the right. Again, it's gone into, you see that big mound over there on the right? It's just dropped into like a little gully in there. Safe though, it's over, that's the important thing. And uh, identical, it's gone into the same gully actually over there on the right, so uh, there you go. Uh, right, we are going to head off uh, to a short break. When we come back, we're going to round up the action for you on a thrilling days one play here for the Faldo Series Grand Final at Brockett Hall. Let's just pop that leaderboard up onto the screen for the 25th uh, Faldo Series Grand Final. So you can see how things are standing across the board. This is all age categories mixed in together. That's how it looks at the sharp end of the leaderboard. As day one starts to draw to a close, there are still a few groups left to come down 18. It's not quite done just yet. There's still two more days of action to bring you as well. Let's pop that uh, leaderboard now. Now, don't forget, if you want to access that leaderboard at any time, you can do. There's uh, a link in the body of this broadcast. It will take you to the Faldo Series website. Give it a click and you can access the leaderboard that way. You can also download the app as well. There is an app. Download it. Just type in Faldo Series. It will come up. Uh, you can access both the 24th and 25th Grand Final leaderboards that way. Uh, right, we're going to head off to a short break. When we come back, we're going to round out the day's action. The day one here of the Faldo Series Grand Final at Brockett Hall. See you soon. 